This tank had been stolen from a local military base by a man with previous military training. No one knows for sure what he was trying to do, but the theory is that he was heading for government buildings in downtown San Diego. Uh, the scary part was that it was obvious that the suspect uh, was familiar with the tank. We immediately got information that there were no munitions in the tank. However, if he could get to the tank, get the tank out, uh, there is no reason to believe that he couldn't get a large shell into that uh, into the cannon of the tank. In those films, you can you see all the vehicles behind, which are all police vehicles, keeping the public at a, at a safe distance. Mm -hmm. uh, if he had brought uh, a shell into that tank, which was would be quite possible, and fired that, it would have cleared 163. Uh, in the northbound lanes for many miles. There's a tank in my street. It, hit, it drove through it. I mean, it demolished it. There was my van. Yeah, he pushed all the way down here. He's, he wanted to do it. He saw it in his eyes. He was having a good time, so... just walk into an armory and steal a tank. When he got to the tank, it appears that he took some pry bars and broke some of the locks on two other tanks before he got to this one. The police weigh up their options. One was to enter the compartment not knowing if the individual was armed. Two, they could have used gas. They thought about it, they decided not to, gas would cause the driver to possibly be debilitated and go out of control. And three, if the officers had entered the compartment when it was gassed, they would be debilitated. The next decision was, should we use lethal force? The officers decided yes, and that's exactly what they did. The officer somehow got the hatch open and ordered the driver to stop. They were afraid that he would get the tank off the barrier at any moment. He resisted and was shot dead.